Okay, so I haven't checked in a while. It is like almost 1 o'clock right now. I'm making lunch. I am making for Lena, just a cheeseburger, pineapple, and pirate's booty. Um, it's just one of those little white castle things that you saw from my place. Little boy would say, his mom brought him a pot pie. So I gave him half of it, um, half a banana, and some sliced apples. Brax! I mean, leftover mashed potatoes and dried chicken. I put some cheese on it, and Ariel is not hungry yet. She had a big breakfast, and she had it late, too. So, that is what is going on. Hot. Hot, Mommy. What? No. So, I got a lot done on my list which I'm excited about. I got my freezer done and my list made. Um, at, sorry, I'm grabbing a spoon. Um, yeah, I just, I got a lot done. I'm very excited. We got the Christmas tree down. We didn't get any of the decorations down. Um, but I also have clothes. I need to go through Rosalina's clothes in her room just because we got her some clothes for her birthday, so I know she's just going to need gone through. Let me grab Pepper. So I still need to do that um, today, and I need to put other clothes away. So I'm just basically taking like a little lunch break, and then I'm going to go back in my room. I'm going to go through other clothes, and I'm going to go in their room and sit down on their floor and go through all of um, the girls' clothes. I'm just stirring up my lunch. I'm talking to you guys because I melted cheese in it. Something different. <laughs> I mean, my potatoes. The shredded chicken. So, um, yeah, I think I got that stuff done. Then after I do all that today, I, well, like I said, after I eat, I'm going to finish. I'm going to go in their room, I think, first and go through their drawers. And then I will put them all in their room and then I'll hang up their shirts and go through that and then I have a bin of clothes that needs gone through it is um, almost one o'clock now so I'm hoping I can get all done today but the clothes need gone through and then I need to make another garbage bag of clothes to sell because I have two here and I'm gonna sell toys and then I'm just gonna put them in the closet I'm gonna post them online put them in the closet that way um, I can get those done and that is it and then just tidy up the house for dinner tonight. I'm making cabbage and noodles, baked sweet potatoes, and bread and pork chops. So really simple. So I'm just going to go eat. The kids are playing pretty good. Ariel is in my room on my bed because her tablet is charging. So she's just having some tablet time. And Rosalie is eating lunch now. And so was Bronx, and they were watching SpongeBob. Do you guys hate SpongeBob? I hate SpongeBob. But yeah. Whoa. Um, the other thing I'm going to work on while I eat to kill two birds with one stone, I'm going to start meal planning. So, yeah, so I will show you guys my meal plan later, hopefully, if I get any of it done. And I will show you guys when I get stuff accomplished. It is almost 4 o'clock. I just put some sweet potatoes in the oven. Um, I've been spending almost the past two hours. Well, the girl I babysit for was here for like an hour. And then, um, it's been like past couple hours looking up stuff for Rosalie's birthday. <laughs> so I agree with it. I have, so far I'm making hot ham and cheese sandwich, or turkey and cheese sandwiches, roast beef sandwiches. And I'm going to make a BLT pasta salad, some mozzarella sticks, and monkey bread. So I need one more appetizer for the table. It's going to be monkey bread and then probably like a savory one. And that is it. I am about to put some music on because I think I need a, like music to get energy. I don't think I'm going to watch any shows. I just think I need some music. My alarm is going off. So yeah, and the girls are... Dancing. Rosalina took a nap. Thank God. So. They are just chilling. My hair is crazy. You guys see me like when I have like the worst hair days. I have the worst 
best hair ever. Yeah, you have crazy hair day too. So does Lena. <laughs> Everybody Lena. Lena. Family. What's this? Can you tell they were sick? You like it, Lena? <laughs> You're so funny. So, tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment at 9. So, that's going to be exciting. So, tomorrow I think I'm going to go to my doctor's appointment. Tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to try to get up as early as I can. Hopefully, I'm going to try to run to Walmart. I don't know if that's going to happen. Like, sitchy. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to start a little laundry right now. I just put my load of laundry in the dryer. I have to wait till later on in the day to load the laundry because I'm not allowed to have a washer. So, yeah. Well, we're, I don't know if we're allowed. Like, I know we're allowed to have dryers, but I don't know if we're allowed to have washers, but I have it anyways. And a couple of other people do, so whatever. But, um, yeah. So I need to go through the clothes. I need to take my garbage out. My garbage is overflowing clothes over there. Yeah. So like I said, I think I'm going to jam to some music in a couple minutes. And you know, like you always clean better when you have music on. Well, to me. Like I like cleaning when I'm watching my shows. Like if I'm doing like dishes or cooking dinner. But I don't want to start dinner until I think 5. Or... Well, it's almost 4 o'clock right now, so yeah, I think 5 maybe. Because all I'm doing is making pork chops and cabbage. So maybe like 4.45. I'm going to aim to start dinner at 4.45. So I'm going to show you the list that I made. So I've been pretty busy on my list. So let me show you that. So, sorry about the lighting in my room now. Um, I don't have any fancy lighting gear. So, here is what is in my cabinets. I have all of this done and this is just like my rough draft of what was in my freezer, my deep freezer. This is my regular freezer up here. This is my deep freezer down here and I made a list that goes on the fridge. And then here's everything that was in my cabinets. Up here is stuff that I noticed that I needed to buy. And then, oh I wrote down the pork chops I'm making today which I'll show you guys. Then started Rosalina's birthday list. See, all I have down is napkin and fork and mini Oreos. So I really need to do that. And then I have some of my menu wrote down. Then I started meal IDing. So um, it's going to start snowing pretty soon. It should already be snowing. So I'm thinking it's going to start snowing soon. So I'm trying to just write down meals. That way I can try to have everything on hand for these meals. So I'm going to start snowing. I don't really have to go to the store unless I need like milk or veggies or fruit. So I don't know if you guys can really see this because it's kind of dark. Oops. Um, I'm going to turn my computer off. Um, let me see. First one is kind of a shadow, but it's chicken tostadas. Second one is tacos um, with spicy potato filling. Picadillo with white rice is just like ground beef or turkey. I usually use ground turkey though. Turkey taquitos with leftover Thanksgiving turkey. Shredded pork sacks with pickled onions. I don't even know what the heck that's called in Spanish. But that's what I call it. And I already have everything for that besides the onions. Chicken pot pie. We have pasta with pancetta. Caldo de res which is like a beef soup. Lemon garlic chicken legs. Roasted chicken quarters with um, soy sauce and dill, chicken and stuffing in the crock pot, Pioneer Woman yogurt chicken legs, and twice baked potatoes. Both of those are her recipe. Calzones, spaghetti with garlic bread and an olive garden salad, and Salisbury steak meatballs. So this is not what I'm having um, like within the next two weeks. I'm just kind of like meal ID'ing 
idea it's kind of right now I'm just gonna jot down basically like a bunch of meal ideas and then I can go back basically um, and plan my meals around these ideas a lot of this stuff I have on hand that I don't really need a lot of ingredients for the only thing I really needed was chicken and cheese and the veggies so that is how I did that um like I said for dinner making those pork chops the pork chops I found online on Pinterest I think they were called the best damn pork chops I think I think that's what it was called on Pinterest and it's just um you mix mayo dry ranch dressing garlic and shredded cheddar and then you put some panko on top after you spread that on your pork chops so that sounded really good so I'm going to make that at soup chairs in the oven I'm just going to make basic cabbage and noodles so that is it I'm going to get busy can you guys see my dryer going over there <laughs> but it's loud um I think that that's pretty much all I did. I just been picking up. I need to clean the bathroom, but I'm not gonna do that till later tonight or tomorrow. So I'm just gonna put some music on my phone, jam and clean, and then I'll show you guys what I'm cooking for dinner later, just in case you want to see it and you're interested. All right, so I'm just getting started on dinner. I have my cabbage back here, and I'm burning it. Hopefully you guys can hear me and see. Oh, you can't really see back there. Um, so, I'm making these pork chops, like I said. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna stand on the wall. I have some shredded cheddar cheese that I just shredded and put in the bottom of this bowl. To that, I'm gonna add some ranch, which is just dry ranch dressing. about a tablespoon or two of that. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons of mayo. So I'm going to do two spoonfuls of mayo. And then you need one good sized garlic clove chopped. Yes, I'm missing a nail. Okay. 
I'm not have time to put it on today and finish my nails. So you basically just push it on there. It's gonna, it's not really gonna spread. It's just gonna smush it on there. So just smush it. I will be digging into my pink hole bread from using my cabbage and other big stir. Starting to get a little dark on me. Alright. I'm just using pink though. If you guys have never used pink I'd really recommend it. They work really good. For everything. So I'm just going to take it and it says just layer them on top. That's what we're going to do. Sprinkle it on top. And I'm sure the pink is going to act like some kind of glue. So the cheese isn't going to goo completely everywhere. It's still going to goo, but. Sure, it's gonna keep it from going a little bit. Yes, brown. So that's it. I'm gonna pop this in the oven and it says 30 minutes. So it's 5:11 right now. So about 5:40. I'm gonna take it out. These are pretty thin, so I'm sure they will be done in 30 minutes. Brown, don't be dragging that all around. just saute it with some it's back there. All I did was just saute a little bit of olive oil so it gets nice and golden. Got a little too golden for the fish. Um, and I salted it once it started to saute a little bit. I'm just adding some pepper now. I like a good amount of pepper in mine. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Nora seasoning. Just a little bit because the stuff is really salty. So this pan right here, I got some water going for some noodles. And throw egg noodles in there and that is it I am done with dinner I'm actually going to check my soup test my movie you guys so let's check this sweet potatoes they've been in there for quite a while so I'm almost positive that they are done oh yeah perfectly soft the only thing I'm going to do is set my timer for 30 minutes. That's it. Um, yeah, while well that cooks, I'm just going to clean up my soup potatoes. I'm just going to let it sit there. Um, and all I'm going to do is add in a little sliver of butter, some cinnamon, and a little bit of raw sugar. Actually, let me guys show you that. Let me show you really fast what I do to those. So now I like to do it when it's hot, especially because I don't have regular sugar right now. All I have is sugar in the raw, so it's coarse sugar. Because 
I have coarse sugar, it's going to take a lot longer to melt. So, that's the reason why. I mean, you could wait a little bit. I love the, I don't really like sweet potatoes. I'm trying to get myself to eat them more. Like, I love, like, how pretty they are. melt everywhere. It's going to go inside. When you cut into it, it's just going to awesome. Especially when they're like steaming, steaming out like that. Then it starts to melt like right away. I'm going to grab some ground cinnamon. Sprinkle or two on each. Let me go grab my sugar. Go sit down, I'll put a movie on. This is the sugar I'm using just because I'm out of everything else. I would just use brown sugar or you can use your white sugar. But there's about a teaspoon, so a half a teaspoon in each, just whatever fills it. again. Just kind of mix it around a little bit in the skin. Just because I didn't, they're still in the container, so they're not completely split open yet. Alright, so if you guys can see, that's how it is. All you do is just mix it like this a little bit, just to get my sugar dissolved. And that's that's how those look. So I'm actually just going to leave those there. And my noodles are to a boil right now. So I'm going to drop my noodles in. Um, and that's it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when it's time to eat. Box. And then it closes. So Lena, my Lena's sister, don't get in her makeup no more. Alright, go clean. So it's 7.30 right now. I'm about to put the kids to bed. Go! Goodbye. Yeah. Go. And I just, like this was my old makeup box. And it was obviously accessible for little kids. Go. No, Lena. So I got this. It's just like a little storage thing I got for like two bucks, I think, at um, Walmart. And I think it's for like crafts and stuff. I figured I would show you guys really fast what I have in here. I don't. Like, I wear makeup every day. Go, Lena. Okay, go. I don't wear um, a lot of makeup. I usually wear makeup every day, but, yeah, I just don't wear a lot. So, I use this L'Oreal um, mascara. I usually use this Burt Bees lip gloss. And sometimes, this is new, but sometimes I use it, the Revlon Color Blast. Sorry, my lighting sucks in here. I have two little eyeliners. Um, I don't even know what brand they are. Because they're like so small now. And then I have a lot of these. These work really good. They're the hard candy. They're just shimmer colors. I have a lot of those. I have one of those that the, like the black and stuff for smoky eye. Then I've been using this Revlon. Um, that's what I usually use every day. And then sometimes I'll add the sparkle with these hard candy things. This is the cover-up I've been using. I really like it. It is 24-hour cover-up. And it is by Revlon. Revlon Color Stay. There we go. Color Stay Whipped. I like that. And then I also have... Oh, that's empty. I don't even know why that's in there. Um, this that I use a little bit over it. The Revlon Photo Ready. I just got these in the other Revlon uh, deal at Walgreens. I have this, this Ultra Smooth. I do not like this. It's so weird feeling and you actually put it on with this. It's like rubber thing. And it really does feel like rubber. <laughs> like it is so weird. Um, 
here's just like a, I don't even know the stickers off, just like a powder, I have a CoverGirl True powder and then another powder, I don't know what this is, Silky Beige, that's Remel, so yeah, sometimes I only usually use the powder if I'm like going somewhere, and then I have a couple color tattoos, um, I only use those like if I'm going somewhere too and I want it to last quite a bit. But that is it. That's all I keep for makeup, I know. I'm pretty plain. Oh, and then I use this. This was CoverGirl. But, as you guys can see, it shattered. So, yeah. I like to use that too. And then sometimes I use these little LA Color Shimmer. I like Shimmer. Can you tell? And I have a pink one. So, that is it. It's the perfect amount for me. I mean, I would love to get more makeup, but it's reasonable. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. 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 Yay. Now all I need to do is get something because my nail polish thing is overflowing. Uh, and then, yeah. So, it is 7.30, like I said. I am about to go, damn my hair is crazy today. I literally just took a shower last night and put it in like a sideways braid and pinned my bangs up. And then this morning is how I woke up and I haven't done anything since. So I am going to go right now and brush their teeth and get their, make sure their pajamas on. They just got out of the bath and get them a snack if they want a snack. And we are going to get ready for bed. This is what I want for snack. That's what you just have for dinner. Well, that's Dad's. Go. Put what? it in the kitchen. You're going to drop it. Go. I Hold it good. I want it for snack. What, the noodles? Both of them. Okay, give me your plate. Go. Put me it in the Lena. kitchen. Me and Lena. Okay. Me and Lena. Here. Okay. I don't know how Put to it in get the it out. Put it in the kitchen and I will do it. Okay. Yeah. So, she's not getting that. I wish I would have known she would have liked. Those pork chops are really good. I'm definitely going to make them again. She loves pork chops. And, um, yeah, I should have bought two packs. But two packs kind of like a lot, though. Especially leftover pork chops aren't really that good. So, I still need to do my bed. I don't know if that is going to happen tonight. And I don't really think it is. So, yeah. All those clothes, though. Yeah. They're not going to happen. I'm not going to lie. But, well, half those clothes are about to get hung up in their room. So, I think I might do that really fast. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty laid back today. I'm getting stuff done, but I'm not. Um, damn, my hair is crazy. So, just got the phone with my grandma. I can't really think of anything else. Like, I feel like I'm, like, missing something to do today. Tomorrow morning, like I said, I have doctor's appointment at 9, and then I need to go to Walmart to see if they have found it, and then get some stuff for Rosalina's birthday, and then I need to go, hopefully, to pack a tans, maybe tomorrow. If not, I'm hoping they're going to be open Friday, even though it's New Year's Day. I think they'll be open, like, half day, hopefully, so I can finish getting her stuff for her birthday, and... Um, I was off today basically, but she picked up hours, so I have him again. So yeah, we're going to go get ready for bed. Like I said, 7.30. I like the girls to be in bed before 7.45, 8 o'clock, like around that area. So we're going to go do that. I was going to do story time tonight, but they are not being very good, so they don't get story time. Yeah, can you hear them in the background? They're not being good at all. So, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Maybe I'll show you what they're having for a snack. Go. Go to bed. Go on. So it is 11 o'clock right now. Really late at night. Um, the girls are still not sleeping. They are oof, being crazy today. Neither is old boy. I'm sure you guys just seen him. He keeps trying to climb on the back of me. I just got done editing my vlog and it is going to upload overnight because my computer is slow. It literally like in the morning I put my um, videos on YouTube. And then, like, the way I have to edit is really weird. So, because I don't have any editing software, my computer would just doesn't want to download it. Mommy, I want to take this one with me so my mommy comes. Okay, put it on the table. Your mom's not coming, so go to sleep. 
Um, Can you open it for me here? Sure. Are you going to lay down? Yeah. You have to lay down. If you get up again, you're not going to get it. Go. Do not make a mess. So, yeah. His mom is um, working third shift today. So, today was a good day. I was excited. I got a lot accomplished. Do I look so rough right now? I had a lot accomplished. I got everything marked off my list that I wanted to. Anyways, tomorrow we are going to pack tans tomorrow and going birthday shopping for Rosalina, which is exciting. But friends also decided to tell me like 20 minutes ago. So I have no list. Ariel, go to bed. I can see you. Yeah. I have no list. No nothing done. So it makes me a little bit nervous. But lucky, like if I need something, I can always just like run in the store. 